Now, experts have warned this week that artificial intelligence could pose a threat to humanity as serious as pandemics and nuclear war. More than 350 scientists and executives, including the boss of OpenAI, signed a statement which said, quote, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority. A member of the UK government's AI Council has also warned that some forms of AI have to be banned by government to prevent the technology from jeopardising humanity. All of which leads me on to this week's jaw. So, is AI a threat to humanity? Let's ask my brilliant panel, the journalist and author of the upcoming book, Free Your Mind, Laura Dodsworth, and the media personality, Ollie London, who also has a book coming out called Gender Madness that will be released later this year. So, Laura, do you think that we are, as a, as a species, threatened by artificial intelligence? I think the first thing that should alert you in this story is the extremely inflammatory language. They're talking about a mass extinction event from a brand new technology. It's like I set out at the beginning. If you remember the Y2K bug, we were told the planes were going to fall out of the sky, banks would crash, you wouldn't be able to access your money, when all the zeros turned over at once. And now within 23 years, we're told computers are going to be so smart, it's another mass extinction event. I think um, what alerts me about this story is the language is so extreme and all the people behind AI and big tech who've been working on it for years are only just saying now how threatening it is just when regulation is on the table. It's almost as though they want a seat at the table to discuss the regulation. Now, the thing is, AI is going to be a very powerful and sophisticated tool and as such, that means it's going to be um, embedded with various kinds of threat. But I think the threat really comes from the people, the people who build it, code it, regulate it and utilise it. There's a story in The Telegraph today about how the government spent £1.2 million with Logically, which is an AI firm, in order to monitor British citizens who were expressing anti-vaccine sentiment, as it was seen. And so the government's argument for that would be that they were trying to um, protect people in a pandemic but what it led to was the surveillance, monitoring and the removal, ultimately, of legal but harmful content, as it's known, of British citizens. So which was the threat? Was AI the threat or was the government the threat in a case like that? What do you think, Ollie? Do you think that the technology itself is sinister or do you think the scaremongering about the technology is sinister? Well, I think Laura made some great points. I definitely think in terms of the government, if they get their hands on it, for instance, in China how they've been using algorithms on TikTok and the Chinese version of Douyin. So when Hong Kong had the anti-government pro-democracy protests, um, the algorithm was able to detect who was um, talking against the government, who was going against the narrative, so they could actually crack down on those protesters. And subsequently, um, the Chinese version of TikTok actually banned all people in Hong Kong with registered TikToks, banned all of their TikTok accounts um, to suppress free speech. And in China and other places that have uh, strict communist or dictatorship regimes, they use these algorithms to track the way people think. And anyone that dares to go against the narrative or dares to uh, express critical thinking will be penalised and punished, and the algorithm can pick up on that. So that is harmful. There are, of course, benefits of AI, for instance, in factories. It can make repetitive jobs easier. It can remove the manual labour elements. But I do think, you know, there is a risk with government regulation. But at the same time, if all of the founders of all of these AI companies are expressing concern, that's definitely worrying. Do you think that it's possible for both of these things to be sinister? So Lord Rees, who was the former Astronomer Royal, he came out last week saying that he was concerned that the over-reliance on AI was actually, was actually you know, it was pos posing a risk because if AI were to go down and we weren't able to fix it, then we could end up with societies in complete disarray. So isn't it possible that those people who are scaremongering are up to something sinister, but also the technology really does pose a threat that is not dissimilar from the, the nuclear arms race. We're already there right now. I mean, if the internet goes down, we're all floundering around, we can't make payments in shops, we can't go to ATMs, we can't, can't make calls. You know, I mean, it's, we're already overly, overly reliant, if you want to call it that, on, on technology now. The thing is that um, 
a lot of the dangers are already here right now. We're not really talking about them. So, for instance, algorithms are the secret online editors that nobody wants you to know about on social media and big tech. We used to go and buy our news from a newsstand. Now a lot of us are getting it from Facebook and other platforms like that. And, in fact, secretly, with no transparency whatsoever, they choose which content is prioritised, which is suppressed, whose people's speech is filtered or shadow banned and whose isn't. We have no access to the rules. We have no right of reply. AI is definitely going to pose a threat. But I think the threat it poses is when it's in the hands of governments, profit-making companies, behavioural scientists and propagandists. Because it's not just about generative language capabilities. It can also be sedimented with nudge and behavioural psychology and used to manipulate people. Oli, very quick final thoughts. Again, that's a great point because it is the people behind the AI that control all the strings and pull all the strings and they're the ones that ultimately create the algorithms. So there is definitely a danger in that. And another risk that could be, you know, what if we overly rely on this AI technology, for instance, in hospitals and the hospital is hacked? and all the power goes down, what if the humans have been replaced, the nurses have been replaced, and you've got all these AI machines, they suddenly go out because, you know, Russia or another country has hacked the system. That could have detrimental effects and, you know, lives could be lost from that. So, you know, it's important to consider that as well.